guys welcome back to my channel thank you so much for clicking on this video and welcome to night number five tonight we're going to be talking about 1941's the wolfman we are continuing on with these universal monsters one thing that i really like about these old classic movies is that we're getting right to the point you guys there is no like huge build up to like this big reveal or this kind of semi reveal of a monster what's gonna happen and all these like spooky little vibes or whatnot of course all these classic movies you guys it's they're not scary at all so like i said we're getting right to the point that's why these movies back in the day were so short not these like two and a half hour three hour movies that we get now we're getting right to the point no build up you guys within like the first 15 minutes of the movie we already had the wolfman attack and kill this poor young lady also attack and brand or bid the next you know to come wolfman larry then starts our journey of larry becoming the wolfman possibility or not i mean is it really real? Is it something that's really happening or is it in his mind? Because one thing about this particular version, I don't think I've actually seen this in other films, to be honest, with, with other werewolf movies. But at the beginning of the uh, movie, they do kind of show the encyclopedia where they define, you know, this uh, werewolf, wolf man deal. Of course, there's like a fancy little word for it, lichen something. I don't know. I know the lichen part of it. Basically, if you got bit by this wolf, you start thinking to become a werewolf, and, you know, the mind is a very powerful thing that is going to literally start transforming your body into this werewolf because you truly did believe it so is he really really a werewolf or is it that his mind is thinking that he's a werewolf even though we are seeing the transformation happening you guys but is it because his mind is so powerful are we in his mindset i don't know you guys I don't know if it really goes into anything technical and I'm really trying to go way, way into it. And it really is. He's just a wolf man, you guys. He got bit. Just a good old werewolf story. But just the fact that it included that particular part in the movie, it just kind of made me think, you know, a little broader out there. And, and, and I guess try to complicate things. I don't know, you guys. So we have Larry, who is our main character. He is, of course, the wolf man or is to become the wolf man. He's coming back to take over his father's estate. He's coming back to the small town. He's trying to woo this girl that he, you know, happened to stumble his telescope around as he was trying to check it out. Not like he was actually eavesdropping he was just trying to you know check it out take it out for a test drive and found this beautiful girl now unlike the other monster movies we're not really dealing with like a love story here like this love tragedy this oh my god my forbidden love my long lost love my love reincarnated no this one is a little bit different compared to those this is a new love this is a baby love but the girl is engaged to another man who happens to work on larry's estate but of course they do have the girl trying to be all smitten with Larry and is torn between the two loves but really wants Larry and wants to run away with him but he but she can't because he's a werewolf and she, you know he's trying to kill her um at one point later on in the movie um I guess that's the tragedy part of it of course this movie is also in black and white you guys want to be before I keep going forward and, and you're like really getting into it and then you're like one of my people who just love color tv and like don't even think about watching black and white deal and i love that whole forest scene um the the creepy tones to it and then there at the end of the movie also when we're in the woods when we're trying to hunt the the werewolf and everybody's kind of like all over the woods trying to like find the werewolf trying to escape the werewolf then we have the gypsy there just happens to be in the right place at the right spot where the right people need to come to her and ask for help or whatnot and yeah again she's a i really enjoyed um that particular character there i did wish we had seen a little bit more of her but it's a very very short movie you guys it's awesome like i said it goes straight to the point the end is probably one of my major things when it comes to these particular movies because it's almost like there still should be more to it you know it's it, it just kind of cuts in a spot and you're just like oh you know like whatever that happens you know and then you're like okay maybe like a whole resolution kind of deal like an actual conclusion maybe we should add like another like five minutes to exp a lot of hack can happen in five minutes you guys just to kind of close it fully 
off but apparently this is kind of like a little deal that would happen back in in those times it's just like a random stop i mean it probably wasn't random for them but like feels random now if that makes sense now the transformation unlike fright night or an american werewolf in paris I mean, those transformations into wolves look pretty darn painful. And this one just seemed, oh lord, I just kind of like hit my lip there. Did I get black lipstick on? <laughs> what happens, you guys, when you talk with your hands? Let me try to put them down, you guys. So the transformation here into werewolf, like I said, it's just very, there goes my hands. It's very like a transition. Like I will transition myself here, how a transition there would go. This doesn't end up naked either um when he does uh, go back into human form which is very very interesting and i like how he's like walking and he's kind of like on his tippy toes you know uh but i feel like at some point he forgets and he's like flat uh, foot again but he does try to go for that uh tippy toe walk and one of the things that i found funny about this movie is when larry ends up uh killing the original werewolf the one that transformed him obviously when he killed him he was a werewolf and then he you know he like plunged him to death with his cane it was so funny because you know he left the cane there where like the scene of the crime when the police came or the detectives came it was like is this your cane and he's like yeah you know it's what i hit you know killed the werewolf with it's like no it was a man they gave him his cane back and he's still kind of like walking around with this cane even though he is kind of feeling guilty about killing this human being but yeah you're still holding the murder weapon and walking around with the murder weapon how guilty really do you feel one of the other things that i found pretty funny is when the werewolf was doing some howling and then we kind of cut to the neighborhood and then like everybody's like coming out like what was that what was that i mean talk about nosy ass neighbors meanwhile here in my neighborhood we're sleeping through dogs barking gunshots pretty much all i have to say about the wolfman to be honest with you before i do give you my score if you haven't already of course don't forget to give this video a like subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet and of course don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified each time that i post something new the wolfman is actually a pretty good movie super simple super straightforward not necessarily a love story but we do have like a baby love story sort of forming you know is this like really happening like are we dealing with the curse of the werewolf and the mark of the beast well the mark of the pentagram deal which is the mark of this particular beast or is it all in your head or in his head in somebody's head when you get bit by a werewolf or a wolf and you can start thinking you're becoming a wolf because i gonna tell you right now you guys if i got bit by a wolf or a werewolf or whatever i'm gonna be just like there in bed just waiting to transform and i'm gonna be like i know i'm gonna be a werewolf i know it chain me up before i try to murder somebody i'm gonna give the wolfman a medium popcorn if you've seen the wolfman let me know down below what did you think about it did you like it did you love it did you hate it was it just not for you all right guys that's it for me tonight i'll see you guys tomorrow bye